Kill him. Kill him now. I shouldn't. Do it. What EA and DICE did to the most recent installment in the Battlefield franchise is absolutely fucking DISGUSTING! I'm gonna be going over all the stupid decisions that led to the most divisive and potential wasted Battlefield ever released. I've been playing Battlefield since Bad Company 2 and to see it being treated like my brother treats me... Fuck off. ...makes me pissed off. And it all starts with the reveal trailer. So we've all seen this shit show of a trailer, and it received some very mixed reception. This was our first introduction to Battlefield 5. They claimed the game was set in World War II, but for most people, myself included, thought it was some fictional war. Take Dr. Disrespect's reaction, for example. I'm just trying to figure out if this bridge was damaged from the war, or if that's the period. Like, is this an apocalyptic steampunk period? I'm just trying to figure out what the hell... Is this World War I, World War II? Is this, uh... Is this like a sort of like a futuristic civil war in the United States? It's World War II? Okay. So when you think of World War II, the first thing that comes to my head is something like D-Day. Not some chick with face paint and some prosthetic arm. But I guess that means I'm uneducated and I should either accept it or don't buy the game. So they literally told most of their consumers that they were uneducated and to just accept it. And that ended up going just as well as you would expect. People listened, they didn't buy the game. When it released, its sales were down more than half of Battlefield 1 when it launched. It sounds like they were doubling down on their vision of World War II, but the funny thing is, when the game released, that chick was nowhere to be found with the prosthetic arm. So at this point, I'm pretty pissed off, but whatever. It's a new Battlefield game, so it's going to be enjoyable at the very least. Well, it was, for a bit, until I realized how little content there was. The map variety wasn't very good and got old fast, only a handful of game modes and weapons. Features that were promised when the game was revealed but never actually implemented into the game. Some even to this day aren't in the game, like the 5v5 mode, soldier dragging, and crash landings. And most importantly to me, it doesn't have a tone. When you look back at Battlefield 1, the game is dark and gritty, capturing the atmosphere of World War 1 really well. But in Battlefield 5, the game feels like it's all over the place and doesn't really know what it wants to be. So almost six months later, they introduced a new Battle Royale mode, Firestorm, and it's okay. But they never bothered updating it or fixing some of the bugs, like not being able to pick up the items you want. Speaking of bugs, the game was full of them. And every update to fix the bugs created new ones. And then they announced microtransactions for cosmetics, which pisses me off even more because they could have used that fucking time to fix the issues still in the game or at least add some goddamn content. A year after the game was released, they announced Chapter 5, the Pacific Theater, and oh, shit, god fucking damn, Whoa. it's fucking amazing and it feels like Battlefield again. But wait, it's, it's nearing away. Christmas time. No. So they lowered the time to kill to give the Christmas noobs a chance, and that fucking ruins the game. Some guns felt completely fucking useless. The time to kill was something pretty much the whole Battlefield community enjoyed about the game. Nobody asked for it to be changed, and they didn't revert the time to kill it until about six months later. So Firestorm dies, but at this point the game has some content. They keep adding and getting rid of game modes, which is frustrating, but at least there's enough weapons and maps to call it a complete game. You know, two years after the game was fucking released. Just as the game was making a comeback, they decide to end all future updates to the game. The last update brought authentic customization to the game finally, something that was asked for since the release. And just to spit in her face one last time before ending support on the game, they announced this action movie elite character. I'm and the guy. <laughs> just what? <laughs> like here's fucking fight. Tom Cruise before we kill off the game. Buy him, please. <laughs> so that's about everything I can think of. With all that said, I do actually enjoy playing the game and play it time to time, but. I don't know, I just hope DICE and EA will learn from all their mistakes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.